Welcome to uh, Lyons Township High School Physics. Um, today we have an example, a very brief one, uh, showing how to find energy density, um, specifically uh, for an example involving a magnetic field. So imagine we have a solenoid, okay, coil of wire, and in that solenoid uh, there's a magnetic field. And can, within that magnetic field there is energy. The magnetic field contains energy, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what is the energy density, like the joules per meter cubed stored in that volume of, of, the, of, the, of the solenoid. Okay, so what is that energy density? So the, the two things that I'm going to start off with are, um, and this is a review from class, but what is the um, inductance of a solenoid? Okay, well, um, well, I'll take it back. We're going to start with this. We're going to do, we're going to call this energy density uh, mu sub b. Um, frankly, I don't know why the book uses that symbol, but they do. Uh, and what does density mean? Well, that's defined as potential energy over volume. Okay, so that's simple. Uh, now, for potential energy, this is an inductor. Okay, so uh, potential energy of an inductor is one half L I squared. Okay, so we're going to use that. Okay, so what is L for a solenoid? What is the inductance of a solenoid? Well, L equals, and I'm going to write this down, mu naught, okay, pi, the number of turns of the solenoid squared times the radius of the solenoid square, so number of turns, radius being the radius of that circle right there, um, over the length of the solenoid. Okay, so that's the equation for L of a solenoid. All right, um, the last thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need um, the magnetic field created by that solenoid. And here's the deal. We're gonna find the, the energy density in terms of the magnetic field that it's stored in. Okay, so we need to know what the, the equation for magnetic field is. Well, for a solenoid, B equals uh, mu naught Ni, okay, all over L. Okay, uh, so that is the magnetic field created within a solenoid. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, in this equation, we're going to sub in for L, we're going to sub all this stuff in. We're going to solve this for i. We're going to get i in terms of b and put that here. Okay, so that'll give us potential energy in terms of b. And then we're going to sub all that into here. Okay, and I'm going to do that all in one step. All right, so now we're just doing a little bit of algebra, right? Okay, so this equals potential energy, which is one half L, which is all this stuff here. So I'll make that substitution mu naught pi n squared r squared over L, okay, times I squared. If I solve this for I, um, I will equal B times L all over mu naught N. So I've got to put that here and I've got to square it. So this becomes B squared L squared over mu naught squared N squared, everything's squared there, all over the volume of the cylinder. Well, what's the volume of the cylinder? Well, it's surface area, which is pi r squared times L. So this is pi r squared times L. Okay, now um, a lot of stuff is going to cancel here, okay, <laughs> thankfully. So um, let's start with this. That mu naught and one of those goes away. We've got one left over. Um, this r squared and that r squared go away. This n squared and that n squared go away. Uh, this pi and that pi go away. That l and one of these cancels. We've still got one left. Okay. And, um, oh, and then that l and that l cancel. So we're gone with that. Um, so our answer, <laughs> the energy density, that would be joules per meter cubed stored within the magnetic field of the solenoid would be B squared, that's we got that left, right, um, over 
to mu naught. Okay, um, so that's it. if you have a, the value for B and you had you know this value, um, you know how much energy, potential energy per meter cubed is stored in the volume of this solenoid, this this inductor, because of the magnetic field or was stored within the magnetic field. So, I hope uh, hope that was helpful and uh, thank you very much.